What's good, Crown Family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope this video bring a little light to your day. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we checking out Larry Bird for the very first time. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. I've heard a lot of things about Larry Bird, but you know, we never watch footage of him. So we're gonna check him out today. This is Larry Bird Greatest Moments. Also, um, if you want to support the channel, be sure to watch the full video to the end. That'll help me out and help the video perform better in the algorithm. Let's get into it. Larry Bird. Okay, nice shot. Like the left hand thing. He called the timeout. He said, you know I'm going to get it. And I said, I know I'm going to be waiting. And then the timeout, I'm going to go play. I tried this for more run. All right, uh, then she got the ball. You go over here and uh, you, you know, pass to Kevin. Then you go to the corner. And Robert, you come over. Then about that time, Larry steps in and says, uh, Coach, uh, why don't you just give me the ball and tell everybody to get out of the way? No way. No. After the timeout, we, we walked back on the court. Larry's going down to his position. So he tells the baby, is, I'm getting the ball. Yeah, he said, I'm going to get it right here. I'm going to shoot it right in your face. Ten seconds. Five, and Bird has the basketball. Look out. Two yeah. seconds on the clock. That's crazy. Two people guarding him. That is insane, bro. It's one thing to have confidence, but it's another thing to be able to back it up. I've always said, give me the ball, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it. And, you know, he was like, I didn't mean to leave two seconds on the clock. I'm going back to the sideline like, damn. Larry Bird just phenomenal the way that he will contribute in the clutch time, time after. John Larry tries to fight his way through with Barkley all over. Okay. Goes to Bird, he's open. Yes. To spread the Bulls defensively. Let's see if they wind it all the way down. Bird low, Bird low. You can't double yet. Now you can quickly. Okay, nice, nice, nice. I was just about to ask, was he playing like in the Michael Jordan area? But I see that's Michael Jordan right there, brother. <laughs> I am done, man. Seconds left. Larry Bird gets the Boston Celtics a two-point lead. Bird down low. Did he get the ball behind him? Might look over to try for the block. Pippen. Yo, Jordan and Pippen guarding him, he still he made it. all of us crazy. in the room, you know, Magic, Jordan, myself, and Bird. Bird probably be the guy who walks out of the room at the end of the day. <laughs> Crowd going absolutely insane. Yo, I ain't gonna hold you the shorts with <laughs> mad short back there. What in the world? That's wild to see. I remember we were playing uh, Washington in Washington one night, and Larry just hit what would have been the game when he shot, but KC called timeout. It won't count. It does not count. Washington had called a timeout. Larry came back to the bench, and you know, he was a little upset. He looks at uh, the bench and says, uh, Hey guys, when I come back after timeout, I'm gonna go right to the same spot and I'm gonna kick it in. That confidence, boy. I'm gonna get the ball. Yeah. Two seconds left. No the way. Ball is by one. Aims to Bird. He gets a good shot in the Celtics winner. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine the first shot didn't count. He said he's gonna go back to the same spot and still make the shot. Well, Two seconds left on the clock. How many people you know would talk to the other team like this and say, I'm going to stick it in your picture? Exactly. It's 
I was guarding in my rookie year. He looked at me and he goes, you can't stop me. And I looked at him and I said, gosh, boy, you're, you're so confident. You're Thanks. confident. You're, you're a rookie. You don't know anything. He proceeded to score like 10 straight points on me. The coach took me out the game. He walks by and he's laughing at me. <laughs> Larry Bird catches the ball in the corner. I take off running out at Larry Bird. And right when he's getting ready to shoot, I jump. And as I go by, <laughs> I go by him. He tells me, he says, fly, Bird. And, no and I go right by him. He shoots the ball. It's nothing but nylon. Larry Bird was a pain in the neck. Anytime we had a chance to win, Larry Bird changed that. Larry Bird. It's like he didn't care who was playing against. He was going to talk his talk. And then it's just like, like I said, him being able to back it up. I said, <laughs> There was a certain confidence you had because you know if you ever got in trouble, give the ball to Larry and get out of his way, and he delivered. The double team and Bird, Larry, Pink, fall away. Hits it, All right. He was a cold-blooded killer. But when you played against somebody, do you remember? Well, you had the Bird night. I had the Bird night. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a tough night, man. <laughs> That, you know, that, the biggest argument that night is, uh, well, you only scored six on me. nice assist. <laughs> yeah. But did, you, nobody was guarding Bird, were they? Well, we were trying. You were trying no, to. No, but when, when a guy is literally coming up to court calling his shots, uh, and, you know, Bird talked a lot of trash. Uh, um, and that's in New Orleans. That's in New Orleans. And that game, we're on the free throw line, and he's like, he literally says, um, left side <laughs> over uh, across the three, and you're listening to him. That's that's a tough filler. Bro, but, that's okay, insane, bro. So you guys got – Antoine Carr and Cliff Levingston got fined by Fratello, I think. For, and, and Eddie Johnson for celebrating. Celebrating Bird. Yeah, it was the best film session. Every time I – when I see Mike, we still laugh. God, it's it was so a, good. It was the greatest film session ever because at, back then you didn't have – you know, you watched the real game and just went, you know, with a video. And Mike rewound the celebration 20 times. Uh-huh. He just kept re- not the shot. He just kept rewinding it, showing the guys. You remember they were giving each other high five. And then, and then somebody falls off the bench. Yeah, too. that was Eddie Johnson. Yeah. Eddie Johnson falls off the bench in laughter. No way! Imagine being on the opposing team and doing that. That is crazy. <laughs> That's when you know you're watching greatness. But I don't know. Uh, and Antoine Carr and Cliff gives each other high five, and our film session was 20 minutes of that. <laughs> So I it, bet. It, was, it wasn't it, somebody not playing good defense on no, Bird. It was you it was, guys celebrating just, Larry Bird. And Fratello wouldn't let it go. It just kept rewinding. That's crazy. I think Bird oh. went by the bench one time, too. He fell in a bench. <laughs> <laughs> they 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 literally on the on the on the sideline celebrating Larry Bird making the shots, man. But it's just like sometimes I mean I guess you know when you're watching greatness, I don't know, man. But yeah, he, I don't know if I one, risk my country. Right now. He literally said oh, no. uh, off the glass into the trainer. And, uh, <laughs> no way. Yeah, and so um it was a bad night. He was a basketball genius. He'd be a step ahead, uh, a thought ahead. Uh, play the game like a chess game. Ooh. I was much rather guard Michael Jordan and Larry Bird because you have to play the game as a thinker when you're playing him. You have to get inside his mind. Larry wasn't quick, couldn't jump really high, but there was just some sleepless nights. Bird takes the pop. It's gone. That was cold. That joint was flowing. In Dallas, the first three-point contest. And he just starts looking at guys, doesn't say a word, and, and people are getting kind of nervous. And then he finally speaks and says, I'm just, just looking to see who's going to finish second. Some pure trash talking and just general bravado. <laughs> and the theatrics of, of it all was made for Larry. And Larry would back up his boast by not only winning the contest, but blowing away the competition with a phenomenal shooting display. <laughs> Bro, is he gonna miss a shot? There's no way. Are you serious? Hello? Nah. I checked said my name on it for a week now. And I knew I was gonna win this thing. I've been practicing. My teammates said I wasn't gonna win it, but I, I came back and uh, lucked out, really. <laughs> 
At the end of wow, one Larry of the trip, was different. We had accomplished every goal. We hadn't lost a game on the trip. And Larry told all of us players and the media too, we were all standing around waiting to leave. He said, tomorrow night's the last game of the trip. I'm going to play this one left-handed at least, at least through three quarters. What a performance wow. by Bird. Wait. So was he right-handed? Was he doing this just to... Just because he can? And at the end of three quarters, the next night in Portland against poor Jerome Kersey. He had 27 points left handed. There's and no it way, was bro. A remarkable performance. Nice. This guy was going to do one thing almost every night that really spun your head around. Made you do like. I couldn't believe this was happening. No way, bro. No he was way. Playing chess and everybody else was playing that was chess. an insane was shot. Ahead of everybody else. And you never know what he was going to do, but you knew it was going to be something special. Bird steals it. You can see it coming. And look at the pass to McCabe. Isn't that beautiful? In last year's playoffs, nice person was out to make Bird eat his words while adding a few choice comments of his own. Chuck Person, he definitely has his reputation. During the playoffs, he just went AWOL, you know, and he just went to work. You can see Wilson playing a little Bird giving it back to him. Chuck Person can talk some trash to Larry Bird now. He scored the last 16 points. Chuck and Larry down low, greeting one another once again. Bird! Oh, he's oh, he's he's a Bro, he was not afraid to talk to anybody any type of way I see. Yeah, it is a little special because um, I've known Chuck for a while and we've always had run-ins, but uh, it always seems like I, I get the last word. <laughs> it looked like his luck had finally run out. He certainly doesn't have that normal bird rhythm going for him. seconds remaining, has only seven, has to be 15. That's eight, making nine. No way. Milking it. He's on fire. She. He knew exactly like what he was doing. Watching this, that ball was going to win the competition for him, and it's almost like he did it in dramatic fashion just to make it more fun. He knew it when he let it go and was headed for the winner's circle. Then the game begins. Magic and Larry come out together, two guys that had saved the league. They wouldn't even be playing this game without those two. And Magic passed the ball, Larry makes the first basket. Banking in, goes to the fadeaway. I mean, you know, it just, it just didn't get any better than that. The U.S. was off and running, and the result was a thing of beauty. Johnson leading the break, finds and no one seemed more excited to be sharing the court than the co-captains. Just pass it to Larry. It's good. Opening night was a smashing success, with the outcome never in doubt. Oh, a bullet from Magic to Portland. Charles Barkley? Fans in Portland decided they wanted a curtain call from a three-time MVP. The crowd start cheering. Larry. Larry, Larry. Crowd reacts to the entrance of Larry Bird, a standing ovation. And as he'd done so many other times in his career, Larry Bird rose to the occasion. Jordan with the behind the ball. No way. Here's no Bird. way. <laughs> you just knew that Larry Bird was not going to miss that shot. The assist from Jordan to Larry Bird, man, come on, dog. It was a virtually flawless performance. Greatness. The final margin of victory was 77 points. Jeez. And Magic converted led. Bro. Man, Larry Bird was greatness, bro. Still to get to see him actually play, man, you know, and actually see footage of him actually playing. Definitely heard of him. But, you know, just to actually see him play is just amazing. Fan was 
very very talented um but yeah man y'all smack that subscribe let me know what other uh videos y'all want to see me react to until next time deuces